In this video we're going to find the x and y intercepts for this quadratic function. We're going to do that using the HP prime graphing calculator. One way of doing this is to get the calculator to plot the function and then we'll use um, the calculator to find these features. So we must start by putting the function into our calculator. Let's move that out of the way. So I'm going to go I'm already actually in the function menu. I need to type the function in. So it's 3x squared plus 4x minus 2. Enter. So there we are. It's function 1. It should show up with a blue curve on my graph. So I'm going to hit plot and we can have a quick look at that. There we go. Um, I'm going to expect 1 x-intercept between negative 2 and negative 1, the other between 0 and positive 1. It looks a lot like my y-intercept is negative 2. Um, for those of you that are confident with your quadratic function, we should be able to see that the constant term is negative 2, which actually tells us our y-intercept. We will look at how to do that on the calculator in case you're not um, so confident with that. So let's start with finding our x-intercepts. So we've got two. We're going to find this one on the left first of all. So I've tapped um, near the x-intercept. You can see the cursor there. We're going to go to Menu, Function, and we're looking at the root. The root is another name for our x-intercept in this case. So there we go. We've got a value. So I'm going to add that here. So x intercepts, we've got negative 1.720, and then we need to go and find the other. Okay, so let's go and tap near, oh that's not very near at all, near the other intercept. We're going to go back to that FCN on the menu, and we're looking at root again. So exactly the same process, we've just tapped near the other intercept. There we go, point 387. So those fall within what I was expecting, the range which I was expecting. Um, let's write those down as coordinates 0 0.387, comma 0. And we have our y intercepts. Okay, so one way of finding the y intercept, if you're not happy just looking at it from the function, is rather than going to the FCN part of this menu, we go for the go to. We know if we're on the y axis, the x coordinate is going to be 0. So we're going to go to x equals 0. So let's enter that. Um, at the moment, this menu is covering up um, our coordinates. So let's hit menu. And there we go. When x is 0, we're at negative 2 on our function. So. That is giving us our y-intercept of 0, negative 2.